Hey, hey everyone, it's David with The Plant Bar, and I'd like to thank you for joining me again. Today we're gonna to be working on this huge canoe. A customer dropped this off and wanted us to fill it. Uh, it's pretty big, it's probably, I don't know, three feet long, uh, but it's really, really shallow. So uh, we're gonna be planting this with a mix of uh, one air plant, one large air plant in the center, and then we're going to fill the outsides with a mix of succulents. We've got some calancho, sedum, and echeveria. Uh, we're gonna mix together. Uh, when you're building long pieces like this, you wanna keep the item short and full, and we're gonna mix the textures, but we don't want the things to be too tall. It wouldn't, it wouldn't look good if we had some tall stuff, so we're gonna keep everything very short. So like rosette-style plants or spreading plants. In this case, uh, we have this this huge air plant that we're gonna put in the middle. So this is gonna be last, but this is going to sit right in here. We're gonna, I'm going to fill this with some, some moss. And then, um, so the first thing I'm going to do is to, first thing I'm gonna do is fill up the outer spaces with soil and plant these succulents in it. And then we'll fill in the moss and then do that last and plug this guy in last. Um, the reason why this, this is going to be taken out to soak when you need to, the rest of it will just be watered, microdose watered inside this planter. So this is gonna go here. All right, so for the soil, we're gonna keep it very, very porous. We're gonna use a cactus mix soil, and then we're gonna further mix it with uh, lots of perlite and lots of activated charcoal because a lot of times with wood, uh, if the water, if you water it, it's if it sits on this wood, it'll, it's, it starts to like peel apart. <laughs> Learn the hard way. So we're gonna keep this very porous and then whenever you, you're planting or putting, uh, putting stuff in wood, uh, if it's like a house plant or something, you wanna protect it. You don't want the water to be sitting there, but with these plants, they don't require a lot of water. So we can get away with this. We're just gonna keep the, the soil medium very, very light and fluffy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix that up real quick. Smells like a wild fly, wild fire in here. Now oh, this charcoal's definitely charcoal. Oh, okay, so we're gonna put in a little more soil. Just to make it look right. All right, so you want it to be, for this particular instant, more arid than normal. Okay, and what we're gonna do, so the air plant's gonna go in the center with moss, and then the, the calanchos are gonna go on either side so that we have some tall stuff. <coughs> Woo! Tall stuff in the center, and then we're gonna go down. Um, try to match up the colors, but not make it necessarily symmetrical. So I'm gonna put this aside for now. Depot the, these guys. What we wanna do is we wanna keep, keep it a finger width below the top there. So we need a little bit of soil, but not too much. This way, I'm gonna work this way and then I'll work the other way. Got an Echeveria here. I'm 
I'm gonna sit this one back like this. I'm gonna check, once I kinda got that side, I'm gonna check this and make sure that this makes sense. Yeah, so it needs to be, we can move this whole thing over. to do this side, same way. Okay, now I've got this all roughed in here and just double check, make sure it seems like it's positioned correctly. I kept this soil very, very, very dry. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of water to firm it up. Clean up my workspace here a little bit. Normally we wouldn't do this. I'm just doing this because I need to get, get this soil to stay. Uh, whenever you're planting in metal, in this case wood, when the when the bottom is you know curved, when the bottom is curved and uh, the soil and all the plants will move around. So you got to be real careful at first when you're when you're positioning and putting all this stuff in there. If you push too hard, you'll you'll push and then it'll just slide right out of the pot or the vessel. This looks pretty cool. We're gonna fill in the, the voids with some decorations and stuff. Um, I'm gonna fill the middle the moss. So we're gonna use this here. It's 
So that big Zeographica can't, you know, it shouldn't sit in any soil. It's gotta be in just this moss bed. Uh, they do not need soil. So we are not giving it any soil. I'm gonna start here, filling this in so that I can put this on top here. And then we'll probably, I'll probably blend, blend some of this moss around to help decorate the, this canoe. All right, so let me get that there. Now I'm going to take back this Zeographica. And the rest of what I'm gonna do is just a little bit of therapy, gonna decorate, fill in the, fill in the voids uh, with rock, maybe a little moss. Probably no more, no more wood because this is a wood project or a wood canoe. That'll fit just like that. What'll happen is once a week, the zoographic will be removed, uh, dunked in water for about 30 minutes or so, and then they can put it back. Okay, I'm gonna clean off a little bit. Going to finish up here, fill in the, the gaps, soil. I think I need a little more rock. Always remembering to put underneath the leaves of your plants so it looks natural. Okay, 
There we go. I'm just gonna give a little bit of water per plant. Just a couple tablespoons when dry. So uh, not very often, about once a month or so, depending on where you put it, maybe a little more often. So if you have a, a if you have a big piece of wood that has, you know, you could plant in that you're thinking about what to do, you can always use it for something like this. You can mix in uh, different medias. Just remember when you're doing using succulents that you use all of them that would require the same sort of water so that uh, you don't have any issues there. Uh, hey, I hope you, you enjoyed this as much as I did, making this cool piece for the customer. Uh, if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to our channel and like this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, comment down below and we'll be sure to get back to you. So I'm David with uh, Plant Bar. I wanna thank you for watching.